Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to remove Linux Mint from your dual boot setup with Windows. I'll be going over the most common configuration if you're using the same EFI partition as Windows, and the second scenario if you have a separate EFI partition for Linux Mint. So starting with the first scenario, go into Windows. Then go to Start, Disk Management, and locate your Linux partitions. In my case, I only have one. And it's this partition here, the 48.8 gigabyte partition. And if you're not sure, go back into Linux, open up a terminal, type in sudo fdisk-l, put in your password, and locate your Linux file systems. In my case, I only have one, the 48.8 gigabyte one. So I'm going to delete it. Yes. Now I'm going to extend my C drive to recover the space. Next, next, finish. All right, the space has recovered. Now I'm going to remove Linux Mint from the boot configuration data. Open up a command prompt as administrator. Type in bcd edit space forward slash enum firmware. And look for description with Ubuntu as Linux Mint is based off of Ubuntu. So we can see here it's at the bottom. So we're going to delete it, copy the identifier, and then type in bcd edit space forward slash delete space the identifier. And I'm going to list it again to confirm. And we see it's no longer there. Next, we're going to remove the boot files from the EFI partition. So we'll need to go into disk part, list the disk, select the disk, disk zero, list your partitions, list part, select partition one, and then we're going to assign a drive letter for it so we can access it. So use a free drive letter. I'm going to use X and then exit out, go into the X drive. DIR, go into EFI directory, DIR, and the Ubuntu directory we're going to remove. Yes, DIR, and it's removed. And now I'm going to reboot. All right, there's no more Linux Mint, and it's booted straight into Windows as expected. In this second scenario, you have a separate EFI partition for Linux Mint. And in my case, it's this partition here, 488 megabytes. And this partition here is the slash partition for Linux Mint. So I'll need to remove both of these. First, going to remove this partition. Delete. Yes. All right. And now for this partition, if I try to right click and we see that delete volume is grayed out, so I'll have to go into disk part to remove it. Start, command prompt, run as administrator. Yes, disk part, list your disk, select your disk, list the partitions. And in my case, I'm going to be selecting partition number five, the 488 megabyte partition. And now I'm going to delete it. Delete partition override, go back into disk management, and we see it's been removed, and now I'm going to extend. Next, next, finish, and it's been extended. And there's no need to remove the BCD edit entry, as it was using its own EFI partition and it was removed. And you can double check by going back into command prompt, and exit out, and BCD edit forward slash enum firmware, and we see it's not there. And now I'm going to reboot. All right, it's booted straight into Windows. So that's it. That's how you can remove Linux Mint from your dual boot setup with Windows. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.